Hello friends, I welcome you to another interesting tutorial in Adobe Photoshop. In today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how you can divide your circle using Adobe Photoshop CC or any Adobe Photoshop fashion. All you have to do is to watch the video from the beginning to the end. So let's get the tutorial started. Welcome back viewers. If you are watching my video for the first time on YouTube, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Alright? So what I'm going to do first is to... I'm going to delete this one. I'm going to delete this layer. So now I can start afresh. Right? So the first thing you have to do is to go to your tools bar. Right click on the shape tools. Select Eclipse. So having select Eclipse, go to the menu menu bar, then set the Eclipse property. So I'm going to fill it with this color. Then my outline stroke, I'm going to fill it with this. Good. So once you are done with your setting, then go back to the Photoshop work area, press down your shift key, then drag to draw a perfect Eclipse. Good. So the next thing you have to do is to go back to your move tools. Then, having get back to your move tools, press Ctrl A on your keyboard. This simply means you want to select everything. So having select everything, go to your menu bar here. Make sure you select alignment vertical center, then alignment horizontal center. So once you are done, press Ctrl D on your keyboard to deselect. This is the first step of this tutorial. So the next thing we have to do is to go back to our tools bar. Right click on the shape tools. Select rectangle. At this point now, having selected your rectangle, the next thing you have to do is to go back to your layer panel here. Create a new layer. Next. The next thing you have to do as far as this is concerned is to go back to the rectangle property at the menu bar. Make sure the outline is on fill. Then the stroke. Make sure you fill the stroke with the outline of your eclipse. Good. So once you are done, then click on your rectangle. Then press shift key and draw. Just draw a rectangle or a straight rectangle. Alright, so I'm good with this particular rectangle. So the next thing I'm going to do is that let me just drag it to one side here. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do as far as this re re new rectangle is concerned, let me press Ctrl and Plus on your keyboard. To zoom out the entire document. Alright. So now we can see. Sorry. So now we can see everything. From the screen here. Alright. So the next thing I'm going to do is that. As you can see this. The eclipse here. The aggregate number of every eclipse is 360 degree. That, that is every size of, a, of an angle. So what I'm going to do here is that 360, you are, what you are going to do is that you divide 360 by the number of pieces you want to have in your, in your circle. Let's say for example, I want to divide this particular eclipse into 10. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to type 360, 360 divided by divided by 10. Then divided by 10. Alright. 
So when you press 360 divided by 10 on your calculator, you are going to get you're going to get uh you're going to get 36. All right? It's going to give you 36. All right. So that is the this is the simple mathematics. 360 divided by 10 we have 36. That means I'm going to divide this particular eclipse into 10. So what I'm going to do here now is that is you go back to the layer, the layer of the rectangle. Having clicked on the layer of the rectangle, press Ctrl T on your keyboard to open the transform tools. All right. So at this point here, you will notice one uh, circle at the midpoint of the rectangle. All you have to do is press down your hot key, then drag it down. All right so having done that go back to your menu bar at this point here this is the angle point so what you need to do here is to type the number of your angle which is 36 all right so you can see now the movement is is ready so the next thing you have to do now is to accept it by click on this check mark All right. What's nice to press that control key, shift key, hot key, and T to duplicate the, the the rectangle. All control shift hot and T just to duplicate to the number of the shape right so i have it to be 10. so the next thing you have to do is to group all the shape together come to the layer here so i'm going to get half about 10 layer this is the original rectangle then scroll up to the 91 press that shift key on your keyboard and click on the last one then press ctrl j to group them all right so having done that the next thing i'm going to do is to press ctrl minus to zoom in the entire document then press ctrl a to open the in to select everything then center alignment center then alignment horizontal center good so the next thing i'm going to do is to press ctrl d to deselect all right so the next thing I'm going to do as far as this is concerned is to go my go to my edit then select transform So having select transform I will now resize the shape Okay, so at the menu bar here, click on this check mark to accept it. Next, go to the layer, right click on it, then convert it to smart object or group, match the group. The next thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to take the layer at the top of my eclipse, then right click on the layer right click on the layer select create clipping mask good we have it perfect as as you can see on the screen so the the number the the the, the command key to duplicate the rectangle is control plus shift key plus alt key then t so that is the command key to duplicate 
the rectangle so it will be actual number of the uh, of your size then this is the the simple mathematics 360 divided by 10 give you 36 then control shift key hot key and t will give you how you can rotate the angle into your actual size so i hope you learned one or two things in this video if you like this video don't forget to hit like button and also remember to subscribe to this channel thank you for watching the video from the beginning see you soon bye